don't need to be scratching my ear on that. All right, we will see if y'all can hear us well. Um, please press one. We are um, using the microphone set up in the computer, so hopefully it sounds good and you guys can see us well. Um, awesome. You can hear us. Great. All right. So we are coming to you tonight to let you guys know um, about a, what was it, about a week ago? Saturday. Oh. Uh, we were there Saturday. We did our live Saturday Eric Dope Sunday. Okay. So last Saturday, we were searching for Justin O'Neill in Nashville. Um, we were not successful on finding him at the time. We then found out, that was it yesterday? Um, yesterday or previous day? Two days ago. Two days ago. Justin O'Neill has been located. He was in a remote area. We're not for sure on the details on it, but we wanted to bring you guys aware that, you know, we had asked the public to put this information out there to get his, his story out there um, to see if he could be found. And um, static? Static. I don't know. Sounds bad. Static. Um, I don't know. Sounds bad. Static. Um, move your phone. I move my phone. So put your phone over here. I don't want to move my phone by it at all. Move my phone. Sorry, guys. Don't buy it at all. <laughs> better. Sorry, guys. It just stopped. All right. Um, phone. That was weird. My phone was underneath my mic. Uh, my phone was underneath the uh, the microphone. So that was, that was crazy. So yeah, um, if you guys didn't hear, Justin O'Neill was found um, approximately two days ago. Um, you know, we had we had brought this information out for you guys to share, or if you're in the area to keep your eye out. Um, and that I think prompted, um, I, I'm not for sure if the family got a hold of the news or the news got a hold of the family, more information was put out um, after we had um, put the story out. So that was a great thing. Um, got people's eyes open and Justin has been brought home. Um, not the way that we were, were hoping, um, but he has been brought home and, and he is um, going to be laid to rest properly and um, back with the family. So I just want to say thank you all for your support. Um, I'm going to give this a brief 10 seconds of silence to honor um, Justin and his family and just and Jason. do what? And Jason. And Jason, um, we did not do a moment of silence for Jason Spencer. Also, I would like to just take this time and uh, reflect on what's been happening the past week. So if you guys will, um, 10 seconds of silence and, you know, we pray for the families and hopefully they heal well. So. Guys, with your support, it means everything to us um, from just watching. Um, you guys watching is really propelling this crew, this, you know, Lindsay and Eric and and even, even um, Bryson. Um, it's really helping us get out there and, and try to help bring these families home. Uh, bring these answers to these to these families that have been wondering for years, and uh, it's solely because of you guys. So, <clears throat> with that, I want to tell you guys what's going to be going on. 
with us for the next few months. Well, actually, I'm not going to say it. Lindsay's going to say it because she is the scheduler mm. and she is the uh, she's the one that keeps us in line. Um, so our we're going to be home, uh, you know, for the remainder of December, probably a majority of January. We talked about taking a a week or two trip if Lee's able to join us. Um, but I'm our next in. big, uh, our next big trip is going to be, uh, February, March. We are planning on heading South. So if you guys have any cases that are across Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, or Texas that you want us to take a look at, you can send them to me, um, on chaosdivers.com. That's there's a chat now button. That's a direct link to me. That's not saying that we will be able to work on that case because we still have kind of a, you know, a schedule. We try not to, you know, we try to keep things in line. We have families that we're returning to. So we don't want to make, we want to make sure that we don't stray too far, you know, from those. So again, if there's any cases in the South that you guys have, or, you know, want us to look at, let us know. We'll, we'll see. We'll look into them, um, you know, d dig into it, see if it's something that we can help with and possibly, you know, add it to our case list. We do have, I have a list. Um, a couple people sent me lists of emails of, of missing people. And some are from that area that we're going to be going to. So we're going to put a whole list uh, and schedule a, a whole list of people that we're going to help try to help in February. Yeah. Again, just because um, send it to us, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we'll be able to get to it. Um, I know somebody had sent you probably 20 or 30 cases in Texas. We can't get to all of those this trip. That doesn't mean we won't look into them. It doesn't mean that we, we won't, you know, try to get back to them. It's just a matter of, you know, where can we help? Where can we, where are we best suited to help with? So um, equipment wise, guys, um, the RV is doing great. I am going to take apart the RV. I'm going to um, give it a tune up. I'm going to make sure that everything is tip top shape for this next trip. Same with the boat, um, the torsion, the torsion arms or the, uh, um, I call them torsion arms, but there's, on the axle, I guess they're the torsion arms. They're called torsion arms. Yeah. So I got to replace those. Um, those were kind of deteriorating. So we're going to replace those. Um, we got brand new tires put on. We're going to fix the brake system on the trailer. We're just going to make sure everything is tip top. So when we leave, hopefully that will keep us from breaking down. And, uh, you know, we're going to have some help from Moto Monster. I know he's going to. We're going to meet up with him sometime during the trip. So, um, um, yeah, I'm going to get. What? Oh, I just. Go ahead. Um, I, well, we also want to say congratulations. Um, Eric, ride or dive, hit five, over 5,000 miles today on his cycling. And then earlier this week, a lot of you guys that had tuned in on Sunday, um, you guys, you know, the, the viewing and all of that helped Eric to get monetized. Eric's intentions for that is for, um, you know, cycling gear, dive gear, and then also when he comes out on trips with us. Because there's times where we're already out on the road and then, you know, his vacation falls in the middle of it. So he comes out to join us. So, you know, that money that he makes from from all of this like that's what he's going to use it for it's just for this pretty much so um but again congratulations to him for over 5000 miles that's stupid <laughs> super, super proud but that's just crazy <laughs> that's a lot of miles on a bike um, he's doing an excellent job and his weight loss is doing fantastic. Um, 
I'm pretty sure he's watching, but he's driving home right now to, uh, we have a wedding to go to this weekend. So he's driving home from Missouri right now. So he's watching, but I don't know if he's on or said hello, but I do believe he is watching. So yeah. So with uh, somebody is asking with uh, Britain depths of history, um, the, the school looks like we're going to be going with him. Not for sure if things are going to work out, but he's more than welcome to come along with from De you know, Britain. He's Oh yeah. He's planning on, on joining us in February. I don't know if he'll be with us the whole trip or half the trip or whatever he's doing, um, what his schedule is, but he is planning on, on joining us. So again, if you guys have any cases, uh, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, um, you can, you know, send them to me at chaosdivers.com. We'll take a look at them. If it's something that we can help with, um, and, and we, you know, we're able to fit it into that schedule, then we definitely will. If it's not, then we can always see about working it into a different, a different, different time. yeah, a different time, a different trip. Yeah. So we're going to be, um, not revamping, but there's on chaosdivers.com. You know, a lot of people ask, you know, how can we support? How can we do this? So pretty much all we need is just like gas money. So with the donation thing on the $5, that's what goes towards gas and fuel. What was gifted the membership? What's all that? Um, you have a, someone called Shane Ramsey who just gifted 10 memberships on your channel to people. Who? Shane Ramsey. Shane Ramsey. Just paid for 10 memberships for people randomly. I didn't even know that was possible, but thank you so much. Um, Shane. Shane Ramsey. Wow. That's, I didn't even know that was even possible. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm kind of stumped. I don't know what was going on. So thank you. That's pretty awesome of you to do that. So how does that even work? Does he just pick the person? Do they mm -hmm. pick the people? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, becoming a member, that also uh, helps with fuel. We get paid um, through that, through our uh, monthly. Shane said, thank you for doing what you do. That's pretty awesome. That's Get up to 10 chaos divers. That's pretty neat. Um, Sorry, I'm learning about. Somebody else just gifted 20. How do you? Jess, thank you so much. That's. And then it goes through and. Yeah. That's wow. incredible. You guys are. He's very rarely speechless. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. Tis the season, right? Jess, thank you so much. Um, that's really neat also. So, you know, we're, we're bringing this live stream to you guys tonight that, you know, that Justin O'Neill has been brought home. Um, the families are asking if you would just please give them time to grieve and, and you know, speculations we're not for sure exactly what happened to him so just please be respectful for the families but just know that he's been brought home and and we won't have to look for him anymore um since we did have a live stream out saying hey you know if you guys would be on the lookout or if you're in the waters you don't have to worry um he has been brought home so i wanted to be able to we wanted to be able to be able to bring you that information i can't talk i'm sorry go ahead no, it's okay. Just um, a way of saying thanks. So, again, they are not releasing any details about who, what, why, when, where, as far as Justin is concerned. Um, we do know it was in a remote location, and that is it. Um, and like Jacob had said, again, the family is asking for, you know, just privacy and prayers. Please, no speculation. Please, no rumors. That's something that we don't do regardless um, but at least his family knows where he is. And I, I will have to say, um, speaking with Lauren 
she is grateful for all of you, you know, because I was explaining how we do things and how you guys are supporting us. And she, she and the family want to say thank you also for that. I'm so thankful and grateful for the work. People are amazing. I'm actually from your hometown, Jacob. You were five or six years ahead. You are truly the most amazing person to come from this little town. So proud. Um, Katie, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Those kind words. Thank you. Um, she's from the same town. Uh, Dana Jane, thank you so much for the $49.99. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, Thank you, everyone, for your your support on this. Um, this was just a an announcement to tell you what we're going to be doing, and also to uh, to tell you guys that Justin O'Neill has been brought home. Um, we do have plans. We know we're going back to Washington. We don't know when, um, but we do know that we will be back to have uh, to help the family of Kenny. Louder milk. Right now, I think uh, just getting through the holidays. Um, like I said, I have, uh, we have a wedding this weekend. Jacob Rice's family Christmas party is this weekend. Um, We're going to spend some time with the family. Yeah, so <clears throat> just kind of taking a break, which is weird. <laughs> um, it just feels really weird to to to. We haven't sit. stopped. Um, have another one. Jess, thank you so much for that. Um, that that's that's amazing. Thank you. Um, so we will be back to help. Oh, were you say something? Yeah. Oh, um, so we will be back to help in Washington. Um, we spoke with Mike McFerrin from what is it? Scuba Scuba Adventure. He's part of the Mid-Missouri Dive Team, um, and he's actually talked about coming and helping us um, in I February when we go south. I so, forgot. Um, it's going to be an adventure, I think. Along this this trip, this journey, for almost two years now that I've been a part of, we have met some pretty amazing people, um, supporters like you guys. Um just words of encouragement, that kind of thing. People we know that are there for us through thick and thin. We've met some incredible divers. Um, just some really amazing people. Um, I didn't work my way into number one moto. Um, you guys worked your way into number one. We are we are here because of you guys. I can't imagine how exhausting it can get. I'm sure there's cases out there that never leave your mind. Important to decompress and unplug a bit sometimes. You know, just like <clears throat> just like the case in in um, in Missouri, um, Mr. Loudermilk. You know, that's every day. I don't know why I'm looking at my microphone. I'm supposed to be looking at the camera. Every day um, we think about Kenny, um, you know, Kevin and, and Kylie and, and Angel, they're all on our minds every single day. Um, the river's going, the river went down. They had an amazing support system. They had over 40 people looking. They had two helicopters out there. They had drones out there. Kayakers, people Kayakers. Looking, the banks, boats. Just it's it's a beautiful thing that that happened with uh, for Kylie, you know, and and the family. So, thank you guys. If if we had anything to do with that, thank you so much um, for your support when you guys are up there in Washington and helping out. Um, highly doubt we had any idea or had anything to do with it because it was all Kevin. Kevin was pushing it on Facebook. So, Absolutely. thank you guys who went out and helped. Anything else? I don't know. I'm cold. <laughs> I told you <laughs> it was cold. You didn't believe me. <laughs> I just wanted to <clears throat> let everyone know that the things 
are looking up for the chaos divers. They're, they're coming together. Um, the support system, um, all the donations. If you want to, if you want to grab a shirt like Lindsay has on, it's on chaosdivers.com. Um, that goes to support us. Um, there's also other ways, other forms that you can support what we do. Guys, we're out here doing this every single day. We are going to take a, a few, uh, about a week or two off and uh, just kind of reset and enjoy time with our families. Um, it's well overdue. Uh, I do miss my kids a lot. And uh, I know, Lindsay, we got to spend some time with uh, Garrett out in, in Nashville. Yeah, the, so. boys came to, the boys came to us. So it was Garrett and Jarrett's first – Garrett's been out with us on a search before, but this was their first time. Like, actually, here's cars. They got to, you know, watch Eric dive. They got to be a part of that whole process. Um, so that was really, it was really cool to have them, uh, Garrett and Jarrett, with us. Uh, Garrett is my son. Jarrett is my little cousin. But those two are, are inseparable. So, but it was really cool to have them with us. Jarrett was... He was such a good help. Like he was so good about like, you know, like he just picked up the camera and pushed record and like, or he, you know, like, okay, where do you want me next? Like, how do you, you know, like, okay, tell me when to drop the mat. Like he was, Jarrett was on it. So. Yeah. Sometime in this month or next month, Lindsay's going to be um, getting dry suit certified. She's going to be um, probably going with Terrence. Walsh from uh, Mermet Springs. Mermet Springs is the place that we get all of our training. And so also in the, um, <coughs> excuse me, in the chaosdivers.com, you're going to see uh, a little outlet for her on her donation thing um, that does go for gear. Your, it's not on there anymore. Well, the donation button is. I thought it was for the next purchase was to get your gear. Oh, I think the only thing I really have to, well, a, a dry suit, but that's, that's neither here nor there. And then a BCD. That's it. BCD that is it, the only thing that I, that's actually on the wish list that so. I have to have, um, is a BCD. I don't have to have a dry suit. Um, and I'll let you guys know on a lot of the, <laughs> on a lot of the donations and of the, um, like the YouTube um, monetization or whatever, we got her a, uh, no, that set of regs was from a donation, mm -hmm. one donator, huh? Yep. But it was like the wetsuit. And My cylinder. your cylinders and a couple other pieces of equipment that was because of you guys and your support. So the money does go back into this tenfold. I mean, there's there's really nothing left when you <laughs> when we we end our trips. So so a, a dry suit is needed um, because right now I can't dive. Um, I technically I can but I would not be able to stay in the water. My it's so cold in a wetsuit. My body core temperature would drop so quickly that it's just not safe right now for me to dive. Um, so a dry suit is needed, but it's something that I'll, you know, I'll work my way towards that, um, towards getting one in order to get certified. Mermet Springs has them that I can, um, she like can rent yes or if you take in the class you don't have to you don't have to rent anything yeah. um it, it comes with the course so yeah. the course is like 140 bucks and then you take your course with mm -hmm. your course you get two air fills and yeah. uh dry suit so so um get certified the only thing in. i don't have i think uh, of my own is a bcd the bcd is um buoyancy control device thank you um <laughs> Um, my brain doesn't work. Um, that's what, you know, we wear that holds our cylinders and holds our regs, holds everything. I don't have my own. Um, I mean, so I use Eric's, I got trained on Eric's. 
um, cause I was going to be getting Eric's, um, but Eric is not getting his other gear that he was going to. So Eric and I just share, Eric and I are not diving at the same time right now. So I'm able to dive when I'm out with Jacob when it's warm. So it's something that we'll get there. Someone I'm asked, about it. <laughs> somebody did ask how much is a, a dry suit. I'm going to tell you that the only dry suit that I will let this woman drive dive in is a DUI. I DUI is trusted. Um, my other dry suit that was donated. They also have the um, D one dry suit. Amazing suit that Eric has. Um, but the DUI is tried and true. The best that we use there at Mermet Springs. And they're approximately around $3,600. So uh, we are going to uh, build up to get that. And um, I think Glenn from Mermet Springs is going to help us out. So, well, and like, they're like, you know, I, I watch for everything, you know. So if, <laughs> if I get the opportunity to like snag one for, you know, a good price, for, for a good price, then I definitely. Definitely will jump on that. But again, I'm not I'm not dry suit certified right now. And Jacob is more than capable of diving. Yeah, so they're <laughs> they're pretty expensive. But like I said, we're gonna build up to it. Um this this is Eric getting says his is not a dry suit. Yours isn't a dry suit, and that's gonna be taken care of because I'm gonna actually call them back after fixing it and it costing that much. We're going to definitely get that changed. Um I think. I think it, you got to pay for quality. Shane, Shane Ramsey is right. Um, Mermet Springs. I think Mermet Springs, everyone that works at Mermet Springs is absolutely fantastic. And they are all about customer service and all about, they treat you how they would want to be treated in going someplace. So if we take Eric's dry suit, even though they are not the ones who repaired it, they are not the ones who repaired it. They yeah. just, they just facilitated it for us. Yeah. That if we went back to them and said, Hey, this didn't, you know, this is what it's doing. They will 100% help us take care of it. Not worry about that at all. Yeah, Jeff just dropped a DUI dry link, a dry suit link. Um, we'll put up something on on our on our page. Um, um, somebody asked what equipment I need. So the only thing I need is a BCD, um, and um, it is on the Amazon wish list. I saw that you had asked that. So it is on there. Uh, I think it's blue. With the BCD? There's only one BCD on there, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I put the blue one, which is Eric's, the Avid, the Avid 3. Yeah. Yeah, pretty sure it's blue, but it's the only BCD on there. <laughs> guys, that's only uh, everything you guys do for us. Um, it's getting a little bit, um, like, kind of like a little bit of off topic on what we're doing here um, tonight. With... What we've, what we've talked about, we'll have it on the chaosdivers.com. Check it out. Um, your support means everything to us, and everything that you guys do for us will be put back into the channel. Other than that, recap real quick. Justin O'Neill has been brought home. Um, his family asked for, you know, um, just privacy, privacy yeah. prayers, um, no speculation, no rumors. Um, he was found in a remote area approximately two days ago. Um, or we spoke with the family two days ago, and that's when they let us know. Um, so, you know, our thoughts and prayers are with them, especially during the holidays. Uh, same as with Jason Spencer's family, especially during the holidays. Um, and at the same time, we're we're thankful that they don't have to worry through the holidays, you know, and where their loved ones are. So, um, but they are just, again, you know, our thoughts and prayers go out to them and um, just incredibly grateful that, that they reached back out to us and, and allowed us to assist them, um, you know, in searching for Justin. So. Yeah. Whenever they reached out um, and we, we tried to help, they, they did contact us and let us know that he has been found. Um, and that's why we're bringing this out to you guys. With that being said, guys, we're going to, um, I, I, I would say we'd open it up for questions, but there's, we've answered quite a bit, 
five minutes of questions and uh (laughs) guys there's there's 1131 people in here that's just flat out amazing thank you do they make kevlar dry suits um so the dui cf 200 is basically kevlar like you can stab it um penetration um I didn't believe Glenn until he took a pen and tried to stab in the uh, dry suit and nothing was damaged on it. And I said, wow, that's pretty, that's pretty amazing. Um, Brooke Burtz says dry suit, uh, go fund me for dry suit. No, I'll, I'll get one. I no, <laughs> um, really I'll, I'll figure it out. Like what you guys do for us already is incredible. And I don't want to take anything away from helping a family. So I would, I would hate knowing that, that there was something like that spent on me when it can go towards something better. Uh, Get better Billy Browning. And um, again, there's information on the chaos divers page. If you want to help her, there's ways of doing that. And you can put it in the link. Um, put a description saying this is for Lindsay's dry suit, stuff like that. Um, it will go directly towards her. Uh, okay. She's to, uh, uh, she's, she needs to dive too. So we're going to try to get her to dive. So your guys' help would be amazing. But I'll figure it out on my own. Thank you. <laughs> um, you guys give too much. Um, it's It's been an amazing ride. We're going to make 2023 the same. We're never going to give up. We're going to keep going. Um, somebody said, what part of Georgia are you going to be in? So we're just now, like I'm just now going through cases. Um, I know that we're going out in February, but other than that, like I I don't know. I don't know anything yet um, as far as like cases, dates, anything like that. Um, if we are able to, um, you know, we can, I'm sure we'll set up a meet and greet or something. Uh, maybe if Eric's able to be with us during one of those weekends or something, and then we'll have Britt as well. Um, and also, what's his name? Um, Mike. Mike. Yeah, Mike wants to come out with us too. So, um, and then there was another question. She's definitely stubborn. I'm not stubborn. I am. Yes. Yeah. It, uh, somebody said the. Uh, uh, no. What? No, go ahead. Somebody asked a question. So it's okay. Go ahead. Oh. How long are you home for? And what are your plans for the new year? I think we'll probably be home till the new year. Um, and then start working on. Uh, on next year. Um I think there's going to be a few days. I, I can't just stay at home, guys. Like I do oh, have a lot. I do have a lot of um, videos to get out to you guys because I stand more on searching than I do on my own editing, which is kind of stupid because I need to get edits out to support what we're doing. But there's a fine line there, and I can't just keep searching, 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 and then editing, and then. I have no time to um, sleep. Well, and that's the thing. Like <laughs> there's cases for us that are close to home that we can go work on. Like Washington is not that far that we can't go over there and help in Washington. Um, you know, there's still Joel Moore is still missing from right here. So we can go help. Like we're going to go help, but it probably, it's going to be more something where it's a few days at a time versus weeks at a time. Um, yeah, yes. We're definitely going to be going Somebody said our new clothes coming out. So we just did the contest. Everything that we have right now is out. All of the the new t-shirts and hoodies are all on there. Um, I don't think we have anything else new coming right now. That's not to say it won't happen, but. And always check back because I tend to sneak things onto the website. Yes, she does. (laughs) Um, yes, we do have like Donita Wilkerson. Um, she's still missing, um, in her SUV. We still got to, you know, try to find her. 
Um, there's, there's, there's a lot of cases around our area that we can, we can be helpful on. So somebody had a really good suggestion and said that we should wax you to get money for my dry suit, like a fundraiser. No. I would be a, I would be open to doing that. No, absolutely not. Yeah. Well, then. <sighs> Six foot lower than what it was when we went to Kansas City. Wow. Wow. There's going to be a lot of vehicles show up on there. Digging with Deej, hello. Um, Art Highland, Merry Christmas to you and your two families. It's early. I don't know when I'll see you again. I thank you so much, you too. Uh, no, absolutely not. We're not going to do that. No, everybody's who would pay to watch Lindsay Jake. No, I am not. I am. Yeah, I know you're an esthetician. I know. Oh, no, but you're not going to wax me for your daggum dry suit. <laughs> Let's just cut your hair for your dry suit. How about okay. that? No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That's kind of my identity, though. People know, like, the blonde hair, like the, the big crazy blonde bun. Um, somebody else had asked a question, but I lost it. Um, what did I do for my birthday? So for my birthday, it was, um, it's kind of crazy. So like what we were doing, like we were searching for Kenny. So you would think like, oh, you had to work on your birthday. That was one of the best things that I could have asked for. Like that, that was amazing to be on the water, be helping a family search for their loved one. Like I couldn't have asked for anything better at that time. Um, then I had the extreme pleasure of going out to dinner afterwards with Kenny's family. Um, I went out with Kevin and Angel um, and then Kenny's parents joined us as well. So I had an absolutely superb birthday, like being able to do something that I love and then get to do it with you know, Absolutely. amazing people. So I couldn't have asked for a better, for Eric, a better birthday this year. Eric said no to Eric. Yeah. Eric, <laughs> Eric, I, I Eric, caught myself on that one. Eric would never, um, he would never be okay. You wouldn't either. That's how you know me. Yeah. <laughs> I think you and Eric both were not happy when I felt like three inches off. How about chaos divers calendars? I don't, I don't see me as a calendar girl. We can make it happen. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. We can make it happen. <laughs> um, Eric got Lindsay a corgi. Eric didn't specify that he got Lindsay a stuffed corgi. So yes, I got a corgi for my birthday. Eric thought he was hilarious. This one knew about it and didn't tell me. <laughs> Thanks for that. Edna would get a calendar. Yeah, Edna would. If it had me in it. No, that Edna. Oh, I thought you were talking about my Edna. No. That Edna. <laughs> I was like, yeah, Edna would get a calendar with me in it. <laughs> um, and then there was another. Lindsay, I'll get you a Corgi in Georgia. Good thing we're coming to Georgia, Moto. <laughs> I even said we could name it Scuba Shark. Um, with all of the knowledge that you have gathered, what are the chances of finding your local friend that you have been looking for? To find Joel would be amazing. Um, I know from the past of working these areas, the places that I have looked, he's not in. Um, just knowledge of the sonar still to this day. Um, I didn't really do much different than what I did back then than I did now. Um, it's just going to be continuing to look for them. Um, and we've gone back and um, there are places that Jacob had searched in the beginning that we've gone back to since I've known you. Um, just rechecking things, you know, you know, your sonar better, you know, settings better, you know, all of that. So we've gone back, we've We've rechecked places. We've kind of thought out of the box and checked places that 
which searched the other side of Harrisburg Lake, which you had th always thought it was way too shallow. You've always been told it was. And then right off the bridge there, it was more than deep enough. Yeah, he could have been over there. So high to car. So. There, was, there was way more water than what I had ever imagined there'd be. Um, it was pretty deep. It was like 10 or 15 feet deep around that area. But then when you started getting in the back, it started getting shallow. Um, so ride or dive, he's in here. I know you guys have showed him some support. So thank you so much on that. Um, going back to find Harry Milligan. Yes, we're going back in the uh, winter. We're actually going back in, uh, I think it'll be March time frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to start in February and make our way across and then up. The purpose of doing that is because there were two or three ponds, two or three ponds, two or three ponds that had a lot of vegetation in them. So much vegetation that our sonar was going crazy. The sonar was reading, you know, half a foot, 76 foot, four feet, you know, to 18 feet. Uh, there was just so much. So in going back in the winter, it will, it will help us, um, be able to clear some of that up um, because it won't, you know, so much of it will be down. We also have a little buddy with us. That was another issue that we had last time is that um, the, that was when the boat popped, the boat popped. So we have a little buddy this time. So that will also help us get into a lot of, a lot of places that we couldn't before. My friend charges twenty dollars per calendar. Indie musician. Somebody was saying something about um, the cars that we do pull out, put them on a calendar type deal with us on them. That'd be kind of fun, I, I guess. I mean, we'll think about it, guys. On that, um, I know we've taken a lot of pictures in front of the the cars and stuff like that. So, what's a little buddy? Little buddy is a machine that is that was invented by Dennis waters, who is not no longer with us. Um, it is a boat that has a sonar in it that we can get in these areas that we can't uh, really quick, just throw it in there, remote control boat, go around, search that water, bring it back, look at the information on the computer and uh, see if there's a car in there. When we were searching for Ryan Taylor, we did locate a car with a little buddy. Um, that is in one of our videos. If you look back in the Ryan Taylor search angie we were actually talking about that um we're just waiting for eric <clears throat> to be for all of us to be in the same spot at once because it's yeah. either like we're on the road or, or um or you know it's a weekend where like you know eric doesn't come with us or we don't make it home so i will definitely get with you <laughs> So Jeff is dropping the uh, cash app and the Venmo um, guys. If, if you are, if you are interested in helping Lindsay out, there's a, also a YouTube, I'm sorry, the PayPal just put in the information on there for Lindsay's dry suit and uh, it will go straight to her. Um, so somebody just said, have you heard about the missing man from Benton? He's been missing for eight years. She can't remember his name, but it was on the news last week. Is there a vehicle involved, Sherry? I'll I'll look into it, Sherry, for sure. Um, we need a theme song for Chaos Divers. I don't know if it would have words that are appropriate. <laughs> Just chaos. Um, how is Tammy doing? Tammy's doing good. Like, and I I mean that in like Juan with the utmost respect. And, and yes, she misses Dennis terribly. We all do. But she knows that he's better, so she's okay. You know, she she knows that he's no longer hurting in pain or anything like that. So, so she's good, um, and that's that's the only thing that we hope for is that she's okay. And she knows that if she needs anything, we will be right there for her. Other than that, guys, we've been on here for quite a little bit and we've had 1100 people stay on here which is just flat out amazing so 
I want to say thank you for your support. We're going to, we're going to uh, close out the questions. And uh, again, Axel wants to know if you're dressing up as the Grinch or Santa for Christmas for them. <laughs> no. <laughs> Axel asked. You know who Axel is, right? Yeah. We had lunch with him. Yeah. Yeah. So he put I, that out there for you. Yeah. I actually have a great picture of you that I can Photoshop as Santa. No. Yeah. We'll work on that. <laughs> oh, hey, HR. Oh, is Josh in here? Yeah. I just saw his name. Hello, I thought Josh. I saw him earlier. Yeah, he was. All right, guys. We love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for all your continued support. Everything goes into this company and everything will be used to help these families be brought home to their to their loved ones. So with that. Oh, Garrett Busick wants to know when we're going international. Hmm. I'm pretty sure the most international we'll get is like Canada, kid. <laughs> Hell, <laughs> it's uh, it's crazy. Uh, we can't get our equipment over there. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think the boat can fly. No, and that um, would be too long of a trip. And a whole bunch of gas cans. I can't imagine being stuck at sea with this one for that long. I bet you'd make it though. You wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um. So yeah. Josh said he's he's in here. He's always watching for violations. <laughs> I am an OSHA violator. <sighs> Love each and every one of you guys. Thank you again so much for all your continued support. And uh, keep diving. It's not worth to stop. Love you. Bye. We'll see you guys later. Merry Christmas. Merry and Christmas. a happy new year if we don't <laughs> see you. Uh, I think you have broadcast. Okay. Yeah. See you guys.